A tiled floor is like a panel of glass and it can't really tolerate a lot of expansion or contraction. In fact, every tile moves a fraction of an inch. The problem is when we put another one and another one and another one, at some point there's too much movement and it can actually cause some damage. So we have to have some control of movement. Brian, can you talk to us about movement joints? Yeah, and the way we look at it, it's actually a flexible joint. And in the past, um, you know, these were achieved by using sealants. Actually leaving out a grout line and putting a flexible sealant in. Exactly. Now today we have various manufactured preformed profiles. And at Schluter Systems, we call these the dialect series of profiles. There's no sealant, no maintenance. Oh, I like no maintenance. Okay, where do you put movement profiles? Well, you're going to need them at thresholds with continuous tile floors. That's from one room to another, if it just keeps going. Outer edges of tile installation areas like the perimeter joints, and also against any restraining surfaces such as cabinets, uh, walls, columns, etc. And you can find these recommendations and areas of application in the Dietra Handbook. So all the specifications are there to help you out to make sure that you have control over your tiled floor. Now, if you've watched this whole section on tiled floors, you should now understand all the necessary elements that make up a lasting and beautiful tiled floor, whether you're comparing contractor bids or planning on tackling the job yourself. Elsewhere on this website, you can find all the details about the wide range of profiles that are available, as well as both print and video guides for doing the job itself. I come back anytime. Brian and I are here 24-7. Well, he sleeps sometimes. <laughs>